Chuck, I got another explainer for you. There'll be no math, right? This is all about math. I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go. Because physics and math, they, they yeah, go they, together. But tell me about it. Yeah. You know, my son, he goes to me just yesterday. Dad, you any good at physics? <laughs> Seriously? I swear to God, this was last night. And I said to him, son, there's some things you don't ask your father. <laughs> Fatherly advice? Yeah, no. So, are you ready with me? Go ahead. Okay. Physics. You are just there. I am. So I can assign a coordinate to you, That's like on an x-axis. All right. Okay. That, that's your position. This is my position. In space. In space. It's just x. All right. Now, you move. Now you're in a different position. Okay. It took you a certain amount of time. Right. How fast did you move? Distance times time. This is divided by time. Divided by time. Okay. Because... Speed would Speedly. be, you know, uh, meters per second, right. feet per second, miles per Far hour. Out. Okay. So those units tell you what happened mathematically. Right. So you went a mile and you took an hour. It's one mile per hour. Gotcha. So you went from just having a position to having speed. All right. I need a very strong, I'm with you because it doesn't get easier from here. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> All right. Okay. Here we go. So now we got speed. A rate is something that is a measurement of something that changes with time. Right. That makes intuitive sense. So your speed is the rate of change of your position. So now you're going at a certain speed. And here you're going at a speed, but by here you're going faster. So now there's a rate of change, change. of your... Wait a minute. The speed. The speed. Yeah. Right. Because first we had to get to the speed. That was the rate and change That's of position. That's the rate change of position. Now but you have now speed. now the speed is changing. Correct. Because it, we're going there faster. So one is the rate and change of position. Right. Now it's the rate and change of speed. Right. By the way, if your speed didn't change, then it would just been constant. Right. Okay. Your rate of change of speed is your acceleration. So if you keep the same speed the whole distance, your acceleration is zero. Oh, okay. If you keep the same position, your speed is, is zero. zero. And so position changes, speed. Speed changes, acceleration. Okay? Mm -hmm. Got to add a dimension to this. Okay. Okay, you ready? Uh-oh. Your velocity is your speed in a given direction. Okay. So your acceleration is not simply a change in your speed, it's the rate and change of your velocity. Okay, so my acceleration is not just the speed of change or the rate of change in of speed, 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 but it's also the change in my velocity? Your velocity is speed and, and direction. Direct, direct, direction. Right. Uh, okay. Acceleration can be one of two things, or both. It could be the rate of change of your speed right. or the rate and change of what? The direction. The direction you're going in. So now, if you're in a car going constant velocity, there is no what? You're not what? I'm, I'm not accelerating. You're not accelerating. Floor the accelerator pedal, what happens to your body? You feel that. Right. Okay. Oh, because my body. Your body had the leftover speed from before. Right. It had to catch, catch up. up. It had to catch up. Right. So you're doing this until you stabilize at some next speed, and then right. you can come up like this. Okay? All right. Got another one for you. You're driving smoothly, going 30 miles an hour. You gotta make a turn. What does your body do? I'm still going 30 miles an hour. Right. But my direction is changing. Right, but my body is still going in the same exactly. direction and has to catch up with it's that catch direction. Up. Right. So that is also an acceleration. Ooh. Yeah. Acceleration has your body right. do things like that. Okay. I okay. oh, got another one. You ready? You're driving along 30 miles an hour. Slam on the brake. Oh, boy. That don't sound good. Now you go from 30 miles an hour to zero. I put on the brake. I'm changing my speed. Right. Therefore, what's happening to the car? Well, the car is decelerating. That's a, that's a word that the, we give to the public. Oh. Okay. It's 
has a negative acceleration. Ooh. Yeah. Look at that. Yeah. That's some physics crap yeah. right there. <laughs> so we hand you the word deceleration, because right. that's clear to everybody what that means. But deceleration is an acceleration. It just happens to be a negative. It's a negative acceleration. Yeah, when you put it on the equations, the I negative see what you're saying. Mathematically, you, mathematically. you can't say decelerate. You can put D in front of the right. number in the thing. So you got to be negative, negative. acceleration. In the, in the equation, that's how it lands. That's very cool. Okay. All right. So there are three ways to accelerate your car. So you can speed up. I can go. speed up. Or I could change direction. Mm -hmm. By doing... Turn the car one way turn or the, turn the, the car the other correct. way. Third and, way. And the third way is I can step on the brake Good. and that will give me negative acceleration. Correct. Okay. So we together on this now. All right. So far. All right. When you're decelerating smoothly, you'll feel your body just lean forward. Right. If you're decelerating smoothly and then like a ball jumps in front of you and you're worried that there's a kid there, what do you do now? I'm like, sorry, kid. No, stop. <laughs> <laughs> No, I'm sorry. Of course, you slam on the brakes slam harder. Slam on the brakes. Harder. Right. Harder, right. And then what, what happens to your body? Oh, man, you fly forward. Yeah. Right. You, you keep going. You, right. No, no, but it's, <laughs> yeah, you, you jerk forward. Jerk forward, right. Okay. What just happened there is a rate of change of the acceleration. That's very cool. Okay. Right. In that case, it's a rate of change of your deceleration. Right. Okay. But a smooth acceleration, you just feel the continuous pressure either forward, backwards, sideways, and you, you, you slow down the car and you jam on the brakes, you, you jerk forward. Right. Okay? There's your position, there's your velocity, there's your acceleration. Your velocity is a rate and change of your position. Your acceleration is a rate of change of your velocity. The jerk is the rate and change of, of your acceleration. acceleration. Wow. That's cool, man. That's an official term. That is official it's term. Jerk, and it is a jerk. Right. You feel yeah. it. Let's keep going. Okay. What is the rate of change of the jerk? We, we have hardly any use for this fact, but it doesn't change the reality that you, there are equations that you can demonstrate this. Right. Well, I got you there. Rate and change of position. Right. Velocity. Rate and change of velocity. Acceleration. Rate, rate and change, change of acceleration, acceleration. Jerk. Right. Rate and change of jerk. Snap. That's kind of what would happen to your neck. Yes. <laughs> That's, yeah. Have you been injured <laughs> in a recent car accident? Yeah, because because think about it. If if you're about to hit something, you you put on the brakes, then you realize you're going to hit the thing. So now you put the brakes on harder. Right. So you first had the deceleration harder. Now you're going to get the jerk, but you're still going to hit the wall. Right. So hitting the wall is a rate and change of your jerk. Right. Because you were slowing, you tried, you're slamming on the brakes. That still didn't stop you. The wall stopped you. Right. Okay. So the rate and change of the jerk is the snap. Wow. And let's keep going. Oh. Rate and change of a snap. Crackle. <laughs> <laughs> you're making this up no, now. No. <laughs> <Let's see. laughs> rate and change of the crackle. Don't say pop. Pop. Oh, <laughs> Lord <a> Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> so you can calculate this, and it's hard. Usually other, these lower terms take care of everything you need right. in whatever is your experiment. Right. But in principle, this is real. And you know, it's funny that as you're saying this, since where we started, which is the beauty of physics, I guess, is that all of these things have mathematical representations. Mathematical precision. Yes. That's correct. Yes. So we have... Position, velocity, acceleration, you take me the rest of the way. Jerk, and then after the jerk is snap, and then after the snap is crackle, and then finally, pop. <laughs> That's a lawsuit. <laughs> okay. The pop is just like, I know we're friends, but I'm sorry, man. I got to sue you because that was ridiculous. <laughs> so there it is. That's, um, that's snap, my long crackle, and pop. <laughs> I got come out of here. Oh, that's crazy. Yeah, yeah. So it's the fun part of it, you know. That's fun, though. What else? What, we don't even know what that feels like. Yeah. We know what the jerk feels like. Right. And the, and the decelerations and accelerations. Yeah. But you can mathematically work out all of those all different of things. That's very cool. And each one is a rate of change of the other. And right now, I'm sure, because our audience is so nerdy, that somebody's like, okay, let me figure it out <laughs> right now. And just, just to really, you know, go deep on this nerdness. Uh-huh. 
uh, each step I took there uh -huh. is the next derivative with respect to time of that quantity in calculus. That's cool. Okay. So the first derivative of your position is velocity. Right. The first derivative of velocity is acceleration. Or the second derivative of position is acceleration. Right. And each of these is a derivative. It's the rate of change of. You just take it all, all the, way, the way through. All the way. That's cool. All the way. Oh, math. Is there anything you can't do? So that's it. That's why I'm just, it was a snap, crackle, and pop. I, I like snap, crackle, pop. That was fun. All right. That, that's pretty cool, man. You got it. That's pretty cool. That's another explainer in this Star Talkiverse. Thanks for being there, Chuck. Always a pleasure. All right. Until next time, keep looking up. You know, the universe operates on elegant principles from quantum mechanics to cosmic evolution. But what happens when you want to explore the deeper questions that keep you up at night? Claude is the AI thinking partner for curious minds who love diving into complexity. Whether you're modeling stellar formation or exploring the intersection of physics and philosophy, Claude helps you dive deeper into the cosmic puzzles that fascinate you. Try Claude for free at claude.ai slash startalk and see why the world's best problem solvers choose Claude as their thinking partner.